Heart attacks and strokes are the leading cause of death in the United States. But it doesn't have to be your fate. The cure for America's most lethal killer doesn't require expensive medications or rounds of invasive procedures. In fact, 99% of heart disease-related deaths are entirely preventable with diet and nutrition. The cure for reversing heart disease is as simple as changing the food you eat. Food is the most powerful medicine on the planet. In fact, a 2015 study published in the American Journal of Lifestyle Medicine showed a nutritarian diet, which means naturally nutrient-rich, lowered blood pressure more powerfully than drugs, and over twice as much as the low-sodium DASH diet. Such a diet is not just preventative, it enables the reversal of heart disease, removing plaque, and restoring function to the entire cardiovascular system. Let's take a look on why food, not drugs, is the way to stop America's number one killer. The heart is a powerful and important muscle that pumps 3,000 gallons of blood through your body each day. The heart gets the oxygen and nutrient it needs to keep working from the blood flowing into the coronary arteries that penetrate the muscle of the heart. The first sign of heart disease is when your blood pressure starts to rise, reflecting stiffening of the blood vessels outside of the heart. These arteries that bring blood to the body expand as the heart pumps blood into them, and they recoil inward or contract when the heart relaxes and refills with blood. The systolic blood pressure, which is the first higher number, represents the pressure in the blood vessels delivering blood to the body when the heart contracts, squeezing the blood out so it can supply oxygen and nutrients to every part of the body. The diastolic blood pressure, which is the second lower number, represents the pressure in the blood vessels when they recoil inward while the heart is relaxing and refilling. The American diet takes its toll. When we eat the unhealthy way most Americans do, our blood vessels develop fatty plaque and stiffen. This is called atherosclerosis. As the arteries lose their elasticity, the blood pressure rises and their ability to expand and recoil becomes compromised. The excessive use of blood pressure medications can cause death. When you resort to drugs to lower blood pressure instead of diet, you open yourself up to an additional set of problems and complications caused by the side effects of the very drugs you're prescribed. If diastolic blood pressure gets medicated downward too much, enough blood does not make it back to the heart and lungs quickly enough, so oxygenated blood does not adequately fill the coronary arteries. A heart muscle that's deprived of oxygen can experience an irregular heart rhythm or even sudden cardiac death. Plus, long-term use of some blood pressure medications and statins have been associated with a higher occurrence of breast cancer. The only thing that can restore elasticity, lower systolic blood pressure, and improve flow back to the heart during diastole is the right diet and exercise. The right food does what drugs can't do. Millions of people in America are taking drugs to lessen their risk of heart disease without knowing the true risks of their medication, how relatively ineffective they are, and the life-saving power of a nutritarian diet which can obliterate the need for drugs. Dr. Joel Furman's new book, The End of Heart Disease, shows us that eating a healthful, nutrient-dense, plant-rich diet is the safest and most effective way to lower your risk of heart disease and make it nearly impossible to have a heart attack. In the book, he explains why conventional treatments such as blood pressure medications, statin drugs, angioplasty, and stents are largely ineffective and potentially dangerous. The End of Heart Disease will show you how to lower your weight, body fat, and waist measurements, lower your low-density lipoprotein, LDL cholesterol, and reverse the buildup of arterial plaque, lower and normalize your blood pressure. Remember, your health is truly in your hands, primarily the one that holds your fork.